Hello, I am Irham Mitbal, a software engineer at WSO2, and welcome to this screencast on custom throttling policies and their use cases in WSO2 API Manager Server. This feature facilitates to define dynamic rules according to specific use cases, and this will be applied globally across all tenants. Let's take a sample API called HBO. This API can be accessed frequently without any limitation. To make sure this, use JMeter and create HTTP GET request to move its resource with correct authorization headers. Then create a forever loop using loop controller and invoke it. This result shows this API can be accessed frequently. Let's take an example. If a user John is identified invoking this API more frequently and if we want to limit the user's access to this API, we can create a custom throttling policy. Let's see how to create a custom throttling policy. First we need to log into admin dashboard using super admin credentials. Under the throttling policies, select custom rules. Then select define rule to create a custom rule. Let's name this as limit user access custom rule. Then the description would be limit user John access to HBO API 5 invocation for 15 seconds. Key templates can be API context for API context throttling, API version for API version throttling, resource key for throttle by resources, user ID for user throttling, app ID which can be used to create throttling application wise, API tenant and app tenant, this can be used to throttle API tenant and app tenant accordingly. Since we need to limit a user's access to a particular API, key templates are user ID and API context which will be for identifying the user and API accordingly. The Siddhi query is the throttling key we define in the Siddhi query should match with key template format. In this example I am limiting user John accessing API HBO version 1.0 for 5 invocation for 15 seconds. Then click on apply rule. Few seconds after, if we see the JMeter results, we can find only 5 requests are getting success for 15 second timeline. Others get 429 status code. That's for too many requests. In this way, we can limit user John's access to HBO API 5 invocation for 15 seconds. I hope you found this screencast useful. You can refer to WSO2 resources for more material like this. Thank you.